while the Cardiff Devils took to the ice against the Nottingham Panthers inside the Cardiff Bay Arena, around 100 fans braved the cold of Cardiff Bay last night in a protest against the Devils' management, upset with recent decisions and the handling of player sackings. It's a demonstration to show that it is just more than a handful of people that, quote, are intent on damaging the club. As a season ticket holder, I'm just disgruntled with the way they treat players, fans, sponsors. We were here long before Paul Reagan was here and before Matt Burge was here, and uh, we'll definitely be here a lot long after it. I think the whole league's behind all the Cardiff fans. There's a lot of fans that don't want to get involved, but there's a lot of fans that have poured a lot of blood, sweat and tears into this club over the years. The Devils recently sacked backup goalie Joe Myers in favour of developing younger talent for the future. Managing director Brent Pope explained the importance of developing future players now. There is a, an appetite to create um, a, an ability in and around managing personnel and how they come and go that is less dependent on uh, popularity and more about a, you know effectiveness and, and whether or not uh, they're a part of the the future plans and, and how you have to always continuously be creating sustainable levels of talent, particularly your British supply. Support of the protest gathered from around the league and further, with hockey fans taking to social media to show their support. With no further protest planned, the Devils look ahead to a game on Sunday night against the Hull Stingrays. Ollie Hampson, Atrium News, Cardiff Bay.